got this meeting okay today concept name is overriding today concept overriding 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 today concept name is overriding what is overriding if at all a function oh you you haven't shared your screen at all oh sorry 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 okay right are you getting my screen now yeah i can see i can see today concept name is overriding what is overriding if at all a function existing in parent class then that function if we write in child class then the concept is overriding if at all a function existing in parent class then that function if we write in child class then that concept is called overriding whatever we okay. have parent class function should be there in child class only one restriction okay okay so yeah. as soon as we change it then it's all it's class is overrided hmm whatever we have in parent class function should be there in child class in child class if you want any extra function you can write it so the parent okay. class function should be there in child class overriding if at all a function existing in parent class then that function if we write in child class then that concept is called overriding the parent class okay. function should be there in child class in child class if you want any extra function you can write it there is no restrictions but the parent class function should be there in child class then that concept is called overriding okay okay makes parent sense class function yeah. should be there in child class or some people will say definition like if at all a function existing in one class same function if you write in another class then that concept is called overriding whatever we have the parent class function should be there in child class so in child class you want or any extra functions you can write it right okay. with example we will discuss oh oh god just now i installed a newer version of java Mm. Ah, okay okay one second only within one minute i can complete that one so on install it okay i want to teach maven framework so if we want to imp implement maven framework compulsory we need latest version of java so that's the reason i installed java latest version okay 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 You need the latest version of Java for Maven? Yes, only latest version. If compulsory, if you want to work with Maven, compulsory we should have latest version. Okay, good, good. Because I they I know they use Maven in my work. Yes, Maven environment. If you want to create the Maven environment, we need latest version. So that's the reason I installed latest version. But next class is Maven framework only. Go to Eclipse. Okay, yeah. So this is called. Is it? Is it just called overriding? Concept is overriding. Yes, overriding concept. And overriding and interface both are very very important. Using this knowledge, we can enter into Selenium. 
so after that remaining java concepts also we can learn so only interview purpose that uh, concepts are important but only if you want learn java so no need right now okay so that's the reason directly we can go for selenium next class to, tomorrow class will be selenium okay wow okay i think tomorrow i'm i don't know what time i'm back so i might have to do monday but but we can arrange okay tomorrow you will not come I I I might not be available because I'm um I don't know it depends what time you're available because I think I get back here at sort of uh, one o'clock um, which is for you I think six thirty no problem I can take class no problem okay. Peter okay. just to tell already I told you just maintain in WhatsApp your number just I don't I didn't get any message from you WhatsApp uh, in WhatsApp please 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 I I keep trying to add you, but I don't know why your contact doesn't come in my list. No, what a pen. Because I use, I use WhatsApp. What a pen, I don't know. Okay, after class we can talk with, okay. Model 1, I'm taking one class name is Model 1. Only I'm taking class name is Model 1. So, click model on one. Okay. Here I'm writing functions. Here I'm writing functions. So, right. I'm writing non-static functions. Public, wide, call. SYSO control space model one call model one, model one call model one call okay control V control. just so when it's not static when you don't put static it's non static uh, I'm taking non static now why I'm taking non static I will tell you message Oh, no, we don't have a main class now. No, here is no main class. Directly I'm taking class only. So main method oh. here I'm not taking. Directly I'm taking class. Only a one class I'm taking. Why I'm taking only one class? So here, so I want to maintain another class also. This is the parent class. I, I have taken one class. That class name is model one. So we can treat as a, it is a parent class. So in the parent class, we have three functions. Class, call function, message function, reset function. Okay, right. Save it. One second, go to SRC, take the new class model 2. Model 2. I'm taking another class model 2. And no class model 2. So, model 2. Model 2 call, model 2 message model to reject same functions i'm writing if you want any extra functions also you can write it you can write it public void whatsapp sysvo control space model to whatsapp the one call the one message so Whatever we have in parent class function, we have in child class. Whatever we have in parent class. Parent class, we have three functions, call, reject, message. So here also we have three functions. So if you want any extra function, you can write it. There is no restrictions. There is no restrictions. The parent class function should be there in child class. The parent class function should be there in child class. This concept is called overriding. This concept is called overriding. Just go to SRC, take the new class. Class name is override. Keep the mark public start quad menu, click on finish. And they all are um, all this all the same function name in model one and model two. Is that right? Uh extra function I wrote it. In the model two, I wrote only one extra function, WhatsApp function. Remaining whatever we have in parent class function should be there in child class. So we have call function, reject function, and message function. Okay, so model two just one extra WhatsApp. Yes, extra we have WhatsApp. So I want to call the Functions from model one. How we can call? Tell me. I want to call the model class functions. How we can call? Uh, we make a ob, um, we extend is extend or make no. an object. Ah, we need to create the object. Why? Because I wrote non-static function. 
if you want to call the non static function in same class or if you want to call from another class we need to create the object how to create the object model 1 m1 equal to new model 1 model 1 m1 equal to new model 1 m1 dot call we can get m1 dot call we can get m1 dot message we can get m1 dot reject we can get right i want to call model 2 function so we can call model 2 m2 equal to new model 2 Model right, so we made we called new model two. So m2 dot call we can get it. M2 dot message we can get it. M2 dot M2 dot reject we can get it. M2 dot WhatsApp also we can get it. This is the concept over writing concept. Whatever we have in one class, the function should be there in another class. That concept is called overriding. If at all a function existing in parent class, then that function, if we write in child class, then that concept is called overriding. Okay. So, oh. hmm. uh, ask me. Um, so in this in this example, all we've done is we've just made an object in this in this class. Mm. One's called model. We made an object of model one, and we made an object of model two. That's all. Yes. Whatever we have in model one function should be there in model two, right? We have model one and model two. So connecting concept, I will tell you. After that concept, you can get it. What is what? So next concept name is simple concept to very connecting concept. That concept name is interface. Next concept name is interface. What is interface? Okay. Interface is something. Interface is something. Interface is something created between two somethings. Interface is something created between two somethings. In between two somethings, I'm creating something, so that's why that is called interface. So in between so two when you say created, so uh, interface is something, sir. So so it is something so this is something created between two somethings in between two somethings i'm keeping something so that is called interface this is interface this is interface okay in between two somethings i'm keeping something so that's why that is called interface okay for example i'm taking one iphone example iphone example iphone in iphone we have different different models sir model 3 model uh, 3s 4s 5s 6s 7s 8s like we have number of models finally that I, iphone people decided they want to maintain some common features in each and every model they want to maintain some common features in each and every model so first of all they are creating one interface first of all they are creating one interface in that interface what they want to maintain some common feature they are keeping an interface for example so they want to maintain some common features in each and every model so what are the common feature they want to maintain one is call reject. okay call reject message call reject message these these two three functions they want to maintain commonly in each and every model they want to maintain commonly in each and every model that's the reason they are creating one interface that interface name is iphone and they are keeping it if they want to introduce any model into market first of all they will install this interface first of all after that if they want any extra feature they can add it but each and every model should contain this interface functions as a minimum 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 compulsory this interface function should be there in each and every model if at all any interface function missing automatically it will show error if it is any function missing automatically it will show error so that concept is called interface concept so already so for example so for example they are introducing one model into market first of all they will install this interface after that if they want any extra features extra function they can add it there is no restrictions but okay so I, model should I can see it as a minimal a minimum this each and every model should contain this interface functions so each and every model having this interface functions are not we want to check 
so if you want to check manually only three functions we can check it is manually but each and every iphone having thousands of features thousands of functions if you want to check manually it is very difficult that's the reason they are using this interface concept so for example so model one and model two we have two uh, two classes we have so first of all we need to create one interface how to create the interface i will tell you so just right click on src in the place okay. of i am taking new interface okay new interface Just okay right click and right click on src take the new interface that interface name okay. is i am taking iphone click on finish in the iphone functions i want to maintain some common functions what are the functions i want to maintain commonly public void call public void call um when i when i do new interface what what i did new interface and then i call it iphone yeah iphone is a interface i'm taking interface name is iphone okay yeah got it yeah call reject message i want to maintain this common functions in each and every model public void message so these three functions i want to maintain commonly so that's the reason i am creating one interface and i am keeping this three functions in the interface i am keeping the three functions in interface the three functions in interface now i want to check each and every model having this interface functions or not then just go to model one class then i will write one more keyword implements model one implements iphone now it will check iphone having this interface functions or not so it is not showing any error why because so all interface functions whatever we have in interface functions is here so observe carefully interface function don't have any function body directly we can write it class function compulsory we should have function body okay got it got it got it got it uh, wow. okay so for there's example, no error because there uh, for example uh, if it is uh, there is no call function so automatically it will show error why because in the interface we have three functions call or reject message so here i wrote implements i wrote implements iphone so whatever we have in interface should be there in each and every class so in the here is no call here is no call so that's the reason it is showing error if you write call it will not show any error it will not show any error it will not show any error okay model one having all interface functions okay great save come to model two model two having interface functions are not i want to check model two implements iphone model two implements iphone model two implements iphone so here call message reject reject highlighted whatsapp not highlighted why because whatever in iphone we have only call message reject so that's the reason it is highlighted whatsapp there is no no the uh, whatsapp is not a interface function it is a class function so it is not highlighted but it is not showing any error whatever we have in iphone that function should be there in each and every model there is no restriction if you want any extra function you can write it that is the point that is the point. right perfect save now come to concept two. so here we will learn only one line that line purpose we will learn java otherwise no need of java that line is only one line purpose what is the line interface name reference name equal to new class name interface name reference name equal to new class name only for this line purpose we learn java so what is the interface iphone iphone i equal to new new model one new model one iphone i equal to new model one so now i dot call we can get it i dot message we can get it 
I dot reject we can get it. Right. Next, I want to create a connection between iPhone and Model 2 also. iPhone i1 equal to new model 2 new model 2 i2 dot call we can get it sorry i1 dot i1 dot call we can get it i1 dot message we can get it i1 dot reject we can get it I want that WhatsApp we can get or not. Tell me. Um, yeah. No. Why? Because through interface reference we can call only interface functions only. So through class reference we can call the all class functions. So we called uh, m2 dot WhatsApp we called. But here through iPhone interface we can call only interface functions only. I want dot WhatsApp. Okay. We are not getting. I want dot WhatsApp. We are not getting. Only through through interface through interface reference we can call only interface functions only. That is the concept. That is the concept. So this is the concept interface concept. Using this concept tomorrow onwards we can learn Selenium. So this is the concept. What we learn from Java, only we learn only one line from Java. That line name is interface name, reference name equal to new class name. Interface name, reference name equal to new class name. Interface is iPhone, reference name IE equal to new model one. Class name, reference name, new class name. This is the one line we learned in first concept. So now we are learning interface name, reference name equal to new class name. Here interface is iPhone, reference name is i, equal to class, whatever you want to take the class, you can take it, new model 1 or new model 2. So you want to take only one class, you can take it, you no need to take If you take third class or model 3 also, that time we can take iPhone i2 equal to new model 3, just we can write it. So here concept so, is, here concept is, whatever we have in interface, that function should be there in each and every class. So here so, only... You only one second if it is only three sure. functions we can check it manually manually we can check it but so if you want check number of functions so if you want to do if you want to check manually it is very difficult that time we will use interface concept so in our selenium concept we will learn only go this line is more than enough only for this line purpose we learned java okay so hmm. Uh, so in line 18, what, so, what? The, so in, in line 18 and line 23, both interfaces are called iPhone. Ah, yes. So the iPhone is iPhone's the interface. Yes. And then, and then what we're saying is, so when we create this reference i, mm. that is that that reference is refer is the ref it's reference pointing to the interface. Mm. So oh, when we do i. Only if I give i, so same reference we can call, we can't call that function. So same reference we can't call. So automatically it will show error. Okay, automatically it will show yes. error. Why? Because with the reference we can call only only one class functions. We can call only one class function. Only we can call only one class function. It is showing error. So whenever you are giving the interface reference or any reference, so that should be unique. That should be unique. Yeah. So, so okay, okay. So this is given an error because I we can't use I twice. Right. I it is showing error. Why is it showing error? Already we gave reference name I. So that's the reason it is showing error. So when we do I dot and I one dot, it's is it is it calling them the functions available in the iPhone interface? Yes. Yes. I one dot call. That means we are calling the interface. Through interface reference, we are calling the interface functions only. Okay, so we can only. Okay, so when we reference, when we've got this um, interface name, reference name equals new class name. Oh. When we, when we, when we call the reference, the object reference, we can only call the functions available in the interface. Yes, 
reference name always we if you want call the class functions or interface functions whatever it is reference name we can use we will not write total object name so we will write only we will not write uh, that class name so always we will use reference name and we will call that functions only if you want call that functions we will use the reference name so with the help of reference name we can call the class functions as well as interface functions in this particular class so Yeah, model one m1 equal to new model one class name reference name equal to new class name so m1 m1 is a reference name m1 dot call we can call okay m1 dot message we can call m1 dot reject we can call so next i am creating model 2 model 2 m2 equal new model 2 class name reference name equal to new class name m2 dot call m2 dot message m2 dot reject m2 dot what's up also why because through class reference we are calling the functions so all the whatever we have in class all functions we can call so using this yeah. reference using this reference so iphone i equal to new model 1 i dot call i dot message i dot reject so iphone i1 equal to new model 2 i1 dot call i1 dot message i1 dot reject okay but what about if we did um iphone i equals new iphone iPhone I equal new for iPhone. Only class functions we can get it right. Interface name reference name equal to new class. Uh, interface name reference name equal to new i uh, new new interface name. iPhone I equal to i2 equal iPhone i2 equal to new iPhone new iPhone. There is no syntax. <laughs> okay, so you can't do interface on both sides. Right, interface name, class name, but only interface name, reference name equal to new interface name. There is no syntax, so that's the reason it is showing error. Okay. Okay, and sorry, sorry, Akhil, I, I'm not sure why I'm getting confused, but so what's the difference between line 18 and line 23? So here I am taking class model one. I am taking here model two. So same to same only. But we have taken two classes. That's the reason I wrote eighteen and twenty three. So no need of every time. No need. Oh, just if you want call any function, we can call it. Okay. Only one is more than enough. But only you are understanding purpose. I have taken two classes. Okay. Okay. So when we write it this way, all all we're saying is. But I, I just don't see what because you know we're calling. Is it just syntax? Because what we're saying is here. iPhone. Uh, basically, we're calling all the functions that are in the iPhone interface. Yes, and moreover, so I uh, why I wrote this uh, 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 model two. So interface function. Sorry, what's a function we can't get from? Uh, we can't get. So that's the reason I want to show you. So through uh, class reference, we can call the all the class functions. Interface reference, we can call only interface functions only. So we can't get iPhone. Oh, sorry, we can't get WhatsApp. That is my intention. I want to show you. Okay. 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 Using interface reference, we can't call all class functions. I want to show. Uh, that uh, point i want to show you point with uh, example that's the reason i created another class that is model 2 class but okay. so no, no, makes sense. model 2 whatever you want you can take it but here through class reference we can call the all class functions but using reference we can call only interface functions only that is the concept okay so it doesn't okay so what you're saying is in terms of um, regardless of the class name It, it, you're still restricted in terms of you can only call functions that are in in within the interface. Ah uh, yes. So using interface reference, we can call only interface functions only. Class reference, we can call the all class functions only. That is my intention. Okay. Only okay. This okay. kind we learned from Java. Tomorrow, if it is possible, at any time, so 6:30 or 7:30, 8:30, whatever time is. So, if you able to come, just message me or call me. So, I will, uh, I will come to online and I will take the class tomorrow. I don't have uh, not yet committed. So, tomorrow I don't have any classes. At any point of time, I can come to class and tomorrow we can enter into Selenium. So, in Java also we have some pending concepts. So that means so, so uh, some concepts we need to discuss. I will, we will discuss later why because if you want learn. you know whatever we learn in selling whatever we learn in java this concept is more than enough so using this concept so we can enter into selenium tomorrow our class is selenium first class perfect okay yeah i i think it will be sort of um 